Hello everyone, and welcome to another installment of Erin's Book Club. I allowed myself to get a little bit behind on my book reviews and everything else uh, for two reasons. I have been uh, addicted again to Sims 4, which, you know, nothing new. And I went through my two vaccinations, so recovering from them were a little bit tougher than I thought they'd be. Um, I don't usually get affected by vaccines, but this one, both of them actually knocked me on my rear end. That being said, I do have a book review to do. I actually also have two magazine re reviews to do that I will put up tonight, hopefully. So the first book review I have to do today is called The Asylum by Madeline Rowe. I hope I said that right. Beautiful cover. And this will be the first book review that I do today, or that I do, where I'm going to try to be spoiler free, mainly because there's a friend of mine that I recently met um, at the barn where I keep Athena that is also a reader and she does most of her book reading um, by audiobooks. So I wanted to give her a recommendation on this book because it was way better than I expected. So um, again, title is named Asylum. It is about a summer camp kind of thing where a bunch of kids are shipped to a college in like a college prep kind of program. So these kids are like super intelligent and it was just a kind of way to get away from all the normal, normal school folk and be a way to um, uh, concentrate on their studies. The interesting thing about this is the main character... Um, suffers with a mental disability, I guess you would call it. It's a disassociated disorder. And this is the first time that, A, I've read a book with that disorder um, being on the main character, and B, it was written in such a way that it wasn't a um, primal defining factor of the character, but it was there, and it was used in the case that it came up. So really interesting. I don't know if it was accurate because I don't know or have any experiences with any of the of the disassociative disorders. So it was interesting in that aspect. But what I think Angie's really going to enjoy about it is it it takes place in the modern world, but there is definitely almost a supernatural twist to it. But there's a supernatural twist in such a way that and everything that happens can technically be explained by natural events, but it would be very unusual um, if it was, in fact, natural events. It, it, it was creepy, but not gory. It actually gave me nightmares because it was written in such a way that your claustrophobia was kind of triggered, but not to a point where it was overwhelming. It made you think. It's part of a series. I think the next one is called Sanctum. And and I finished the, this book and was almost desperate to get into the next one. And never mind that, but like the cover is beautiful. I know Angie, you don't necessarily get the same covers with the with the audiobooks, but it would be interesting to see what your point of view would be after reading it to see if it would if it would um, jive with my point of view. But it it also in the in the book has like the chapter breaks are really cool, and there are like the odd picture. Let's see if I can. Yeah, here we go. There's the odd pictures in the bottom. It just makes for a really interesting read, to the point where I was actually late for work a few times, and um, to the point where again I was late for work a few times. So. Not really late, but, you know, one or two minutes late. Or I, the one day I came in and I was emotional because I was reading the book and I had to explain to my boss that I wasn't upset about anything at work, so that was fun. But all in all, really good read. I enjoyed it. I, I'm very excited to, to order the next one. I've got it on my wish list, um, I think, on Thrift Books. And I'll go from there. But, yeah. So I will let you guys know when I have another book read. Thanks very much.